After a few months of trying, Resting in Peace finally got the opportunity to investigate the Hartwood House. Built by the Irvine family, migrants from Ireland, between 1800 and 1825, this property used to sit on 5,000 acres, now 27. They housed 125 slaves from the year 1825 to the end of the Civil War, 1865. During the Civil War, this house served as a headquarters for both Union Confederate forces. The large barn on the property was used as a field hospital for Confederate soldiers. What happened to me personally at this house, I will never forget and I will never come back. Definitely does give a completely different vibe up here. So I you son of a bitch, get sit on me! Oh my god, I heard footsteps. <laughs> Dude, but um... <laughs> no, yeah, as soon as you walk up there... That's creepy. Yeah! yeah. 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 That, yeah. Look how small those windows were, and uh, hallways were. I think that was for the slave... These were the steps the slaves used. You think? I think so, man. I thought I heard something over in here, though. Yeah, this is a slave? Yeah, because this, this is the main hallway right here. Servants. I don't want to slave, but at least made some servants. All right, man, you know what time it is. Come here. Hey, come on up to this attic. I go up to the attic? Yeah. Oh, that's where they were at. It's not so bad during the daytime. You're so lucky you didn't get hit by that nail, dude. Let's go to the basement. Okay. Going down to the basement. So supposedly there was a kitchen down here and a tunnel that the slaves used. So this is the uh, former tunnel that led to the slave quarters. You see they sealed it in, mortar and dirt. I'm curious, Joseph, if I just reached my hand in there and turned it upwards, I'm curious if that's a, a smokestack, you know what I mean? No, yeah, so that connects to the chimney, that connects to the second floor, which connects to the third floor. That definitely goes all the way up, look at that. Yeah. So you look over here as well, Jacob. No, why would they board this up? Why'd they board this one up as well? This most likely was a possible second chimney over here. No way they got central vac in this house. What the hell was that? They got a central vacuum for this house. That'd be, wait, it goes out. Now it goes back. You think there's no fireplace? I think there might've been a small one, yeah. Yeah, a little fireplace. I kinda wanna crawl back there. I kinda wanna crawl back there and see how far I can see on my own. You know what I mean? So how do you feel about this tunnel? Uh, I'm confused. Dude, look, look how much brick and mortar they yeah. used to cover this thing up, man. Yeah, why, why so much? It goes back pretty far. And it's bricks on both sides. Like a, like a brick lining? On both sides, yep. Yeah, this is definitely a tunnel with a walkway that went down. I don't know. All right, here, grab this camera. Dirty going up in there. Whew. The real question is, why is there a tunnel here? You know, did they not like their slaves that much? They didn't want to see them. It's obviously not to cover their heads so they don't get burned walking over here because they worked them to death in the fields. So what's the purpose of having the tunnel? According to the very few information that we did gather, if there was a kitchen, which we believe was over that way. They would use to prepare food and breakfast and whatnot, and also potentially to get the slaves to work in the house in case it rained or there was bad weather conditions, and they would have access to the house still. Without getting the floors dirty? Without getting the floors dirty. We'll see. Um, we'll see if we can get an answer from them tonight, uh, either psychically or hopefully through the electronics. We'll go with electronics first and then I'll tune in. Yeah. You know? I mean, you know, what's one thing though is you know, how I mentioned earlier, this thing is not properly sealed and was not properly filled in. You yeah. can still feel that draft, that very cold draft coming in, okay. which means somewhere there's another side. Maybe I should try to psychically figure out where this thing goes. We know it goes in that direction first. All right, let's see if we can figure that out. Fire, some Holy Spirit, God, Jesus' name, please switch my consciousness from alter state of consciousness, high state of awareness. Help me get up to my spirit guides and interact with the uh, ghosts and spirits of this plantation at this time. Just preliminary stuff, just trying to get some information. Love you, thank you, and just name me, man. Goes that way and wraps off to the left, just like I thought before. 
It does. It goes. It goes around the water source. It's going back to that bridge. Literally, it's going back behind that bridge. It's like a hundred foot tunnel. I, 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 you know, I was just saying hundred in my head. We'll see what happens when we go over to that bridge. We'll see what it looks like over there. But it's back there. It's back there by the bridge. It's on the other side of the bridge. Let's go do that. All right, guys. Let's go down. Holy slave quarters was. the valley of the shadow of death I shall fear no evil for thou art with me over here somewhere over here somewhere let's go if the crazier grass than this let's go back there something's moved over there there's spirits back here can you make a noise in those trees my name is Jacob Sasko I'm a psychic medium that means I talk to spirits and ghosts i've come here with the direct aim of helping any souls rest in peace help you leave whatever situation you're in if you don't want to be in a situation to help you get out of that situation i hear voices I hear voices from over there it's in this area it's all in here dude this is a gathering place it's like like a courtyard and there are buildings all around this all around this all around this all around that so out here and all around let's go back okay Okay. All right, guys, I got you. I see you. All right, all African Americans in this area tonight, I'll be on the other side of this bridge. Please come out and talk to us. We'll talk to you from outside over here, okay? I love you. This is the site the slaves would have had coming back to work or back to the house. Anyone that was going to the house would have seen this before they went underground into this tunnel. The opening is in here somewhere. I'm going to try to find proof of it. I can tell where it would have been. I feel like it's about right here. It's all grown over. It's really hard. Yep. There it goes. On the other side. Bridge is over there. See the bridge? No. It's, it's on the other side of these trees. It's not here. It's on the other side of these trees. Gotta see it from the drone. Alright, cool. Thanks. Signing out. Alright, Spirits of the Heartwood House. My name is Jacob. This is Joseph James. This device is called a spirit box. You can speak. You can speak into it. And as long as your voice carries across for more than a second, we'll know it's you talking. Is there anyone here that wants to say anything to us? Is John or William Irvine still here? Irvine? Does John or William Irvine, do they like visitors? Do you like us being inside of your home? Why did you build a tunnel? downstairs. Was it because you didn't like seeing them? John and William Irving, if you're here, talk to us now. I heard rumors that you weren't well liked. Why? And by all means, if there are any slaves in this house, do not do any work. Stop right now. For you do not have to do any work for the rest of your eternal life. Later on, we'll help you out to make sure you can see your family, your loved ones, and get out of this place. After tonight, you will be free. That guy upstairs is happy. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I got you. Who's up there? I swore I just heard your name. I'm coming up. What do you want to say? I know you're up here. He's up off to the right, dude. That's his room to the right. Ooh. Who stayed in this room? The bed was over here and to the left, and it's like a sitting area. John? It said something. It was two words. John Irvine! Come say hello. This place has never had a voice for years. That was us. I heard like music playing for a second. That was us. Who is us? Who is us? Who? This thing's already at half battery, and they're just brand new batteries. Spirits of Hardwood, can you come say hello? What was the underground tunnel for? Are there any slaves still here? Mama. 20. 20. Who lives in the small house? Was that the person that, that delivered the punishment? 
Oh my God. Right. You hear how clear that was? Was that the person that that delivered the punishment? That was terrifying. Is the person from the carriage house, that little building outside, did that person deliver punishments to the slaves? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Clear. That was clear. I'm picking up on them just, just being angry. Uh, that guy upstairs isn't happy with us already. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get some questions, and we'll get these. We'll get the spirit box going. We'll get the it's box. going to be staticky because that's how spirit boxes work. They use the sweep through different uh, radio waves. Let's go. Let's do this. It's about to get dark. You know, we're about to be here in the house. Andy said it's way different at night. Um, it's been creepy already, Andy. I'm not gonna lie to you. First one out. Start off with so. Spirits of Hartwood, we know that we know that the Kimball Barn is a Confederate hospital. Are there still any Confederate soldiers here? Elijah, are you still here? What? Are there any soldiers from the Virginia 9th Cavalry still present on the ground? I said terrible. Like Charles, like Charles Barkley. Terrible. What do you want to say? The whole world listening to you. What do you want to say? We're here. We're here. Yeah. Said, we're, we're here. here. He said, hey, that was a country flying. We're here. Yeah, we're here. That was some country. Okay. country pumpkin. We're here. Terrible. Hey, brother. <laughs> another country guy here as well. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, Eliza the Spirit, are you still here? What the hell was that? What? What'd you do? I didn't do anything. Well, I have this muscle. I'll just... I'll take it over. Right? House? Are there any other owners of this house here besides... No, the basement door! What? No, the basement door! No, the basement door! The basement door is open now? Yeah! Who opened the basement door? I did! Did you hear that? Damn. No, you got to shit me! Yeah. Hold on, time out. I'm gonna grab this camera. Look, look right here. Look right here. That shit was closed. Remember when we asked you about it? We need to go back down there. Sorry, yeah, guys. Sorry, Hold guys. On. This is... Sorry. Hold on. Yeah, no, sorry. Sorry. Good there's, there's, some, there's, some, there's some stuff going on right now. <laughs> Andy, uh, before, before I left to go get the HDMI cable, uh, I verified that the basement door was all the way closed. And then you act if it was locked. Alright? If it was locked with it. Yeah. It was closed then. Yeah, it was closed. And then I heard a noise to my right. I, I went to a check to see what that noise was. That's it. Basement door was open. We actually did it. I did. So, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Spirits of Hartwood, can you tell me your name? I can't watch you down the basement. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Betsy's uh, my uh, psychic phone a friend. Very, very good psychic uh, medium. Um, ask about Abigail. Is there anyone named Abigail here? All right. That was clear, but... Um, right. What happened to Abigail? What happened to Abigail? What did I say? How did Abigail die? I heard a woman's voice. Whoa! Whoa! What was that? That was over more than one frequency. <laughs> I felt it too, man. <laughs> Besides Joseph and myself, how many people are in this house right now? Uh, psychically, I'm picking up that there's not more than it, it's in the double digits, but not there's like 10 to 15 or something. It's not a lot of people in here right now. There's a sense that people can't come in here, uh, maybe because of uh, restrictions that they still live by with their um, with their human limits. If that makes sense. Were the slaves here mistreated? Ooh, there was a very quiet voice. It was like, it was like, I heard like a, 
Like, like a really quiet, like growl or something. It, it, it sounded like a, it, it felt, it felt um, aggressive. <laughs> so, I don't think that was the slaves I was coming through. That, that felt aggressive. I, I didn't like the feeling of that one. Also, spirits of Hartwood, you can use this box to communicate. To communicate. Your words will show up on this screen. You know, let's do a little, let's do a little knowledge here. The spirit can respond, but can a ghost intelligently respond? Yes. Yeah. So I've never, I'm not sure if spirits intelligently respond on devices. I know ghosts do. All right. So the difference between a ghost and a spirit: a spirit has crossed over, dropped their human emotions, and radiate love. A ghost has kept all their anger, sadness, things of that nature. How many ghosts are here? How many people kept all of their their sad feelings? 15. 15. 15. That's what I said, 10 to 15. Do you have any unresolved earthly circumstance? No. It sounded like a lady singing. No. Uh, sorry, guys. Um, trying to get back to the... Are there any malevolent spirits here? Oh. Oh, that's temperature. That's temperature. How did the child spirit... Child spirit, if you're here, how did you die? Did uh, the little girl suffocate or drown? Hello? Hello? With that? Hello? Come closer, thank you. Yeah, thank you for coming. I got chills, man. Cheers to the hardwood house. Can you stop it? Stop it? Well, I'm saying this question anyway. Oh, who is that aggressive voice just now? This is starting to get a little more, a little more uh, threatening. Um, yeah, to say the least. Yeah. That's good. It's getting dark. We're going to do this. We're going to go into this night and turn on night vision, so we're good to go. So that's, that's this one. Old old word. Word. I'm Mark. It didn't actually sound like Mark in our group's voice. No, it just. But hold on, put it down. This is noise you just heard. It just said I'm Mark. It sounded identical to Mark's voice. Mark, you tapping into our fear box, man? Hold on, I gotta. I gotta take a break, man. <laughs> Sorry, I'll hold this down. You know I really walked off by this stuff? No, I just want to go outside and take a breath, man. I, I don't get how you're not... What? I don't get how you're not acting less sense for you. <laughs> that was not even funny. You see, you know, people don't... Spirits don't come to a million people and say a voice like that. That's something... You think it's something else? No, uh, that sounded identical to Mark Anthony. Identical. 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 saying that that voice on the spirit box sounded identical to a member of our team that wasn't able, wasn't able to make it tonight. So he's just uh, a little perturbed by that. He needs to go get some air. Fine. I'm here by myself with you guys. Let's do this. Why do people feel scared to be here? I said run. Did you hear that? Is anyone here being suppressed? <coughs> Joe. Hear that, Joe? Joe's being suppressed. I'm gonna have to tune into him to get back, make sure he's okay. I put protection around both of us, so we should be okay, but. You say you'll kill him? Hey guys, I'm gonna leave this one with this. I'm gonna go check on Joe. It got me a little worried, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, good deal, good deal, good deal. Good deal. As it gets, uh, turn on a light on Taco. We're about to go night vision, Judy. So, let's do that. Let's yeah. flip it over to night vision. You feel sick? Yeah. Here, here, here. Sit down. Do this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take care of you right now. I need, to, I need to work on you real quick. I need to work on Joe real quick. I'm gonna have him just... What? Hold on, let's take a break. Take a break. Take a break for a second. All right, look. Uh, Joe's, about... Joe's feeling a little. Um, no, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be fine. I'll just drink some water. No, no, well, you do that. I'm gonna take care of you anyway. Table, I'm sad. Yeah, I know. All right, so I'm gonna take care of you because it, it said some, it said some things that are a little concerning. So I'm gonna take what? care. What? Just. You'll see it. Look, we got. All right, look. So I get. The, the down. I said, Aaron here being suppressed. I said Joe, and then I said. You know, something else, and then it said, we'll kill him. 
Yeah. So, yeah. That's the type of thing I think we're we're that's starting to come out as as it gets darker. All right, you have protection around you, but I'm just gonna reinforce it and push light through you. Okay, no big deal. You okay? Oh my god. It's okay, big guy. We got this. We got no, this. I see. It's like I don't. Like I, I get I get pissed off situations like this. You know, like we're all, I'm out here to help a spirit, help spirits out, and I get there's there's people in this world that had bad lives, but. To try and still take that out on people, the living, who are here, who come here out of love and, you know, the, uh, what people did here to 125 slaves was wrong, was, was extremely morally wrong. And for anyone to have the audacity to still be mad, to still have a vendetta and try and still attack the living, I don't get scared. I get pissed off. I want to say some things to you. I mean, I have a strong enough faith in my, you know, my God, my faith is strong. And I'm not challenging you, I'm not daring you to come at me, but it's just, I mean, how dare you, man? Seriously, how dare you? Judy makes a good point, if you want to read that. I know that, I, I, I get that, Judy, I appreciate that. I know that there's evil out there. How dare you? You treated 125 people, if it was somebody around here, you took their life and will away. And then I'm in here and I hear my friend Mark, our friend Mark's voice. I know for a fact, I know the dialect and I know the, the emphasis he puts on certain words and whatnot. And it sounded exactly like Mark Anthony saying, I am Mark. And when I heard that, I just got a blast of like something on me. And I was like, man, I gotta get out of here. And for you to say, we'll kill him. Yeah, well, plenty of people probably have tried in the past. I've been followed sure. home by a black shadow figure after I left Trans. Before I this, no, no, no. Yeah, no, not Trans. Uh, before I left Glendale Tuberculosis Hospital. That was before this. That was before we protected people. <clears throat> the thing, the thing that worries me about running the Spirit Talks for so long, it's the same thing like what you did at Edgewood with that last reading this thing. The longer you run a Spirit Box, and this has been a common thing among the paranormal community, the longer you run it, the more and more you're leaving that channel, that conduit open. So more things come more through. things can be going by, seeing this portal, seeing this conduit. And it might not be anyone that was laid to Hartwood. It might be someone that sees it here now and now is tagging along, saying you'll kill me, leave me alone. You have plenty of stuff to do. In Jesus' name, at this time, all evil beings in this building must uncloak themselves and on this property must uncloak themselves and remain visible for the entire time we are here. In Jesus' name, amen. Action. We're here on the second floor of the Hartwood House. We've heard a lot of reports of activity up here and activity of such as EVPs and apparitions. We're going to find out what the fuck is going on. Alright, so there's several things that you can interact with, anyone who's around us. My name's Jacob, this is Joseph, and we have Kelly here. Uh, we all came with a desire to help you and to, to help understand your story, where, where you've been, where you've, you know, what's happened to you. Really just anything you wanted to say to us. Uh, we have several ways for you to be able to communicate with us. You can show up on camera, you can touch this item here on the floor, and that will change the lights. And you can also try to hit that ball to see if you can knock it down the stairs. Oh, and that's obvious. You can, there's, you, there's our word bank inside that, that item in Joseph's hand that you can use to you know, speak your mind. So several ways for you to communicate. We'd love to hear from you. Is there anyone here that wants to say anything? Are any of the owners of this plantation house here with us right now? All right, so at this time, do you, did you want to use the spirit box for them one last time? Because I'm ready just to cross them over and move on to the next area. Well, yeah. We come here to speak with you and to help you. I'm not here with any sort of aggressive intention towards you. I honestly feel bad that you've been here as long as you've had to be here. And I think that if you would like a way to get out of here and to come back at your will, to come back when you want to, I'd like to provide you that opportunity where you can come back as a visitor and not have to stay here. Would that be good for you? All right, sir, well, thanks for coming by. 
And thanks for talking to us in your, in your lovely home. Would you like me to bring some angels here for you? So you can see if, if, they want, if you wanted to go with them. But I want you to feel the love and the compassion that I have for you. For you to know my heart is pure. And that I genuinely love you. And care about your well-being, sir. So at this time, God, in Jesus' name, please bring down the angels and the friends and family of all of the plantation owners, all of these very important people. Please bring down their friends and family and angels. Follow these angels at this time if it, if it pleases you, but please do this. This is in your best interest. Your friends, God, in Jesus' name, at this time, isolate the oppressive force. Follow your friends and family and angels into heaven. Is that wait? Awesome. Right now. <laughs> Alright. Please, yeah, right now. Great. That's even better. Please follow them into heaven. And we wish you love and peace on your journey. And we look forward for you to be able to visit here as you wish moving forward instead of being stuck here. You're too powerful to be trapped here. Please go at this time. We love you. Thank you. Amen. So what, what just happened there is uh, I had to kind of play to their ego. They were very, uh, uh, very above everybody else. Uh, these images I was interacting with. The way I spun these questions was to really kind of feed into their ego to make them trust me and like me and then listen to my suggestions. So there was a method behind the madness. They weren't just gonna go by me saying, let's go. So that's what that was about. Spirits of the Heartwood House. Now is the perfect moment to make your presence known if you could. Is there anybody here that wants to communicate with us? You are free to do so. Everyone that would stop you is gone. It's restarting again. We used this at Fleetwood for like an hour. It didn't do anything. I mean, it made, it made some loose cold spots, but if it's restarting again, it wasn't doing that. So on the bottom right, there are two infrared lights. You can see the tunnel. It's the portion that's the dark purple color or like the darker little spot in the middle. Can you touch Jacob? Truth. No. Say truth. Truth. That's what my shirt says. Is it? Truth. It's like you touch Jacob and says truth. Like literally my shirt says truth. Yeah. Big letters. Spirits of Heartwood House. So is anyone in this tunnel, can you make the lights change? Can you make the colors change? If you come up behind me, it will change. You can see yourself. So there should be no reason for any changes, right? So if you could... Do you see up. any cold spots on the top? On the top, yeah, there's, there's cold spots. Nothing creepier than going into a tunnel that was used for God knows what. Who's in here? Can you tell me your name? My name's Jacob. This is Joseph. We have Kelly over there. We're all here to help you. You can speak into that device or into this device on my shoulder. We're gonna go outside to speak to everybody there. I know I told you I'd be there last night. I'm sorry. Can you do me a favor? Go back through the tunnel and tell everyone we're going to be there in a few minutes. Don't be afraid to talk. You're safe. We've already removed the owners. We know the way out of here. Do you want to know how to get out? What's the name of the woman who's interacting with me? Uh, so, I'm interacting with this lady. She's a uh, uh, 40s, 45 or so. She was one of the house workers, uh, and she was thoroughly beaten for breaking a dish. That was kind of like a, a breaking point for her, where she was kind of like demoted from from being allowed to do housework. Do y'all know who that is? So I'm what they call a psychic medium. I'm able to communicate, as you just found out, by talking to one of your own. I've also brought, asked people from the last plantation you were at to go into this tunnel to spread the love and try to bring people over to us. This is why we started getting responses. It's amazing how much help I get from the spirits we've already helped that you work with the next people. There's also an Isaiah in here. Is there an Isaiah in here? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was clear. That was so clear. Thank you for that response. I'm getting chills. I got like goosebumps. 
Uh, thanks for that response. They're, they're not such a mean man. Oh man, I'm, uh, they're all about me right now. I feel a cold grass here. I don't feel it on there. Hey, you probably feel it on I yourself. I feel they're all over me, dude. Because John and William Irving hurt you. John and William could not hurt you anymore if they did. Thank you. Can you do me a favor and just go back and tell everybody that we're coming out there to the grass where the grass is tall to come help you. Right at that line. We're gonna come help you, okay? Yeah, sure. 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 Like it, right. sure. You can use all the energy you have left. I will help you from here on board, I promise. I just saw something over there. Can you meet us in front of the bridge? Okay. Okay. All right, let's go to the front of the bridge, guys. If you notice, if you look in, in the direction towards the plantation house right now, mm -hmm. it's completely thick. The owner of the plantation did not want to see the slaves at all, which is the purpose of the tunnel. He was above them, literally, and put them in the ground. Uh, there may have been other reasons, but that was one of them. We're going to try to speak with the slaves here and find out if there's any other reasons, uh, any other situations, try to get an idea of what their experience was like in life in the afterlife and see if we can help them get out of here. I know we can help them get out of here, but I, I really want to see if at least they can interact with us. Okay, slaves, spirits, here of the grounds of Hartwood House. We have come on a mission of love to help you. We ask that you come to interact with us at this time and to say hello. We, are, we want to know what your experience has been in this life in your life and in your afterlife. The year is now 2021, so it is approximately, what, 300 years have passed, almost, since you were uh, bound into slavery on this property. Who's here right now? I'm gonna switch over while this is going. So, you keep doing your questions, I'm just gonna. What is your name? How many spirits are here? Night and day, so yeah. Franklin? Uh, I don't know, I didn't hear that at all. I asked who the little boy was. I'm seeing a little African-American boy. I asked who he was in my head. I said Franklin. Why did they build this ton uh, bridge here? Were they hiding the tunnel with this bridge? A lot of work to do everything to get rid of that tunnel, you know? It's a lot of work. Oh, by the way, I was picking up, there's uh, like 105 uh, slaves. I want you to know from this from this point forward, you are free people, and you'll see what that freedom really means here in a little bit when I help you get out of here. Does that make you happy? I will help you, I promise. I swear to you, I will help you leave this place. You will never have to come back here if you do not want to. They will, no one will ever find you or drag you back here. We really need to know what happened to you, what your life was like, and what your afterlife has been like. So slow. It could be low energy. Oh uh, yeah. Alright guys. I'm gonna interact with you psychically because that's gonna take less of your energy and more of mine. Power. Yeah, we've been at this for a while. I'm going to switch consciousness and be able to interact with you and it'll take none of your energy really. Mostly mine. Okay? No. Okay, I'm interacting now. Um, I'll find out what their life was like here. It's very neglectful, but very harsh. Very harsh. So the fear that was here was more of an angry fear than a respectful fear. I'm sorry they pushed you so hard, they worked you so hard, and punished you for not meeting. I'm sure that was horrible. I'm seeing shackles. I think it's more of a metaphor, though, but a very heavy metal shackles. Satan channeling. Satan what? Satan channeling. Satan channeling. Satan's not channeling. Channeling is not a satanic thing. You guys, last chance. I'm bringing energy around me. If you come near me, you will pick up energy and you will charge. Feeling tingling. Is there anything you would like to say? You can still speak into this. And we'll hear, we'll hear it later. What I say? Ah. Oh. We got some energy. Can we even get some of that energy? Get that good, good. Get that love energy. Are you ready to be freed? I'm praying the angels down as I'm asking this question. So if you hear a response, it may be them responding to the angels coming. Are you ready to go free? Thank you for reminding me. I 
appreciate you telling me that. God in Jesus' name. At this time, I sever any and all cords to this property that's holding any human beings and human spirits to this place. I cut and sever and dissipate any chains. Did you hear that? Yeah. That was that was real. That was something else. That's not. That was too loud to be like a bug or something. Thank you for that. Thank you for your response. Okay, come around me at this time. Let's do this. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Please bring the angels down and help any slaves or any human beings in this entire two mile radius. Help them cross over at this time. Please bring the angels. Let them go to their family into heaven where they may rest in peace. It's okay. You see your family going, keep going. You're safe. Just follow them. They could be no worse than being here. I love you. You're, you will be forgiven. It's not a thing. They're not worried about that. Go ahead. I love you. All right. All right, at this time, all Powhatan tribes in the area, all Native Americans, if, even if you're not Powhatan, but I'm going to be speaking to you with my understanding of the Powhatan people. At this time, I ask you to come forward and come around us. Let me start by saying that I love you and I'm sorry for the situation, the way life has been and how, how this has evolved for your people. This time, I'm gonna ask for my main spirit guide, Gray Eagle, and also any Native Americans I have helped in the past to come around me to serve as a buffer. Native Americans, spirits of this of this land. Is there anything you would like to say to us? Interesting. I don't like how I said my name though. Huh? I don't like, I don't like to say my name. <laughs> I think it's great. No. What did it say? Kill. Is anyone here being suppressed? <laughs> Joe. Just took care of that yesterday. No, well, we asked for Native Americans and they're always pissed because of what happened to them. I understand, I get it. You're not allowed to hurt us. Uh, I will tell you that. You have free will up to the point where you hurt somebody else. I won't allow that to happen. The angels around me won't allow that to happen. Uh, but we are here with a keen interest of hearing your story. What was your life like before you passed away, before you died? It's kind of like on their heels. Retreating back, retreating back, retreating back westward, staying in the woods around, like being around but not being out, you know? I just wanna document. I said this again like it said yesterday in the EVP session. You can't see it with that. Yeah, you can. Yep. Got it. Is there anything you guys wanna say? Just just talk into this device. I'm not I'm not. Got a butterfly. I feel like that's a thank you. Yeah. Butterflies have always been a, a symbol of freedom for me. That was really cool for it to be flying through us like that. That's not, it's not normal, I think. 